name of God, the creator, redeemer, and sustainer of our lives. Amen. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast mixed with flour. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure in a field, like a pearl of priceless value, like a net thrown into the sea. Jesus talked all the time about the kingdom of heaven. It was his central focus. It was by far the most recurring theme in his stories and sermons. Again and again he preached this message, the kingdom of heaven is coming near. The problem was he never described it the same way twice. He always left you wondering exactly what he meant. He spoke in metaphors that confounded his audience, and we get that in today's gospel. Jesus gives this litany of metaphors and And then he looks at the disciples at the end and says, have you understood all of this? And you can just imagine them looking at each other, looking at their shoes, looking back up at him and being like, oh, oh, Jesus, of course, we got all of it. Just very clear. But no, it's not clear. He starts off by saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed or a grain of yeast. And so far, so good. I mean, those two make some sense together. They're both tiny things that start small but grow into something great. A huge tree, beautiful loaf of bread. They're images of growth and abundance. But then he goes on, the kingdom of heaven is like buried treasure or a priceless pearl. And those are sort of different. They don't grow, not in the same way. And and here it's, it's, it's like the kingdom of heaven is more of a discovery, an uncovering of something so precious that that everything else falls away. Now, each of these groups of metaphors have meaning, but it's hard to see how they tie together. It's hard to see what we are supposed to take away. The great writer and, and uh, preacher, Barbara Brown Taylor, has a beautiful insight on this. She says the common thread, the common denominator in this passage, in these images, is their hiddenness. In each case, the kingdom of heaven is hidden. It's a seed buried in the ground, a grain of yeast hidden in the dough, a treasure buried in the field, a pearl that stands out among everything else. It is right there within our reach, this kingdom, accessible yet unseen, and its promise is nothing less than the fullness of life. Last month, we took a family vacation. We were at the beach for a week, and I was struck by the number of people who had metal detectors. I didn't know that was still a thing, you know. (laughs) Nobody carries coins anymore, and I feel like Whatever goal Blackbeard had is probably washed up by now. (laughs) But every morning when we went out, somebody was there combing the sand with a metal detector. I don't know what they were looking for. I guess there's just something timeless about a treasure hunt. That's why there's so many shows on television, right? That antique road show, American Pickers, Pawn stars, that's the best name. People love that stuff, and I, and I get it. I mean, I like poking around an antique shop, especially 
in the outskirts of town where nobody goes. Because I think to myself, maybe this is the one with a Picasso buried in the art section. <laughs> you know, or a, a Mickey Mantle card in the corner of the display case. You never know. I mean, we love to search for hidden treasure. We like to imagine how our lives might be transformed by what we find. And I think Jesus knew that. Maybe he was trying to tap into that sense of, of wonder and imagination. But the moral of this story and, and of every story Jesus tells is that the true treasure is already here. The kingdom of heaven is here among us, hidden in plain sight. That's why he uses such everyday examples. It's in the trees and the fields. It's in the fish of the sea and bread and oysters. The kingdom of heaven is all around us. It's, it's the very substance of life. It's in our relationships with each other and with the world around us. The kingdom of heaven is priceless and abundant at the same time. And the real irony of these metaphors is that the kingdom is not meant to be possessed. It is a priceless treasure whose value only comes in being shared. Kingdom of Heaven is it's not an individual enterprise, it is communal. It is a beloved community, a fellowship of life in Christ. It is meant to grow and expand beyond measure. It's a way of life that leads to freedom and justice and peace for every person. It is a vision and a dream, but it is as real as real can be. Jesus is trying to open our eyes to this truth, that the kingdom of heaven is here. It has always been within our grasp. If only we have eyes to see, and ears to hear, and hearts to love. All the treasure of the world is ours. And it is hidden in plain sight. Amen.